What's going on guys? Welcome to Fearless Friday. Today, we're gonna to talk about reactivity because it's the number one attraction killer in the interaction. Before we jump into that, I have two things. First, go back and watch the video I did on, it's titled, Do This To Be Grounded because it'll pair really well with this video as you guys learn how to ground all that chaotic nervous energy down through your body and all that reactive energy as well. Second thing, if you're new to the channel, hit like and subscribe. Me and Brian are constantly throwing out videos. I do Friday videos, Brian's doing videos several times throughout the week. There's videos with other dating coaches on here. There's videos with models. There's live Q and A's. And we also have guest speakers come on and talk about dating. Whatever it takes to get you guys more solid and having the dating lives that you want, we shoot on those topics, okay guys? So let's jump into the topic of reactivity. Now reactivity is huge. I see it in so many people. I saw it in myself and I noticed the more confident I got, the less reactive I got or was it vice versa? They play hand in hand, right? You can't really be confident and be reactive at the same time because reactivity plays off of your insecurities. If you haven't made peace with your insecurities, you're gonna be very reactive in interactions because people are gonna come at you poking at your insecurities. Men do it, women do it especially, family members do it. And the reason that family members do it is because they've had more time with you. They know what you're insecure about. They know what's gonna work. Guys in your friend circle are gonna poke at you and give you shit, excuse my French, but they're gonna poke at you because they know it works, because they know you're gonna get reacted to it and it's very funny to watch. Now, in an interaction with a woman, women are gonna poke at your insecurities, one, because they're designed to do that because they want to know where's this guy weak at. Now, I wanna to talk to you guys about how to get better with your reactivities. What can you do to become less reactive and more confident? Here's the thing. Your insecurities are what's making you reactive. When a girl posts at you in a certain way and you get defensive and you bind up in your body and you don't know what to do or you go into your head and get silent, complete radio silence, you've already lost the interaction, right? And it's not just with women, it's with guys too. Think about the totem pole of men in a group, in a, in a, in a friend circle, right? The guy who's most reactive is usually at the bottom of that totem pole. Guys who are more confident and solid are at the top of that totem pole. You can quickly change where you are on that totem pole. I get it's a stupid game, but that's just the way the world works. You can get higher on that totem pole by being less reactive. The way to work that is to write down your insecurities or look at your shortcomings. Literally write down a list of the things that you're insecure about when it comes to being around men, being around women, being around social situations, being around your family, what insecurities come up for you? Maybe it's with when you were guys, you don't feel masculine enough. You feel weak. You feel like the lesser in the group. If it's with women, you don't feel good enough. You don't feel attractive, right? Maybe it's in your family. You don't feel successful as maybe your brothers or your sisters or some of your cousins. Whatever it is, write those insecurities down, right? And start to make peace with them. You want to get to a point where you can look at your insecurities and laugh at your insecurities because people are going to come at you because they know poking at your insecurities is going to make you respond a certain way. And when you don't respond that certain way, people give you props or they just won't know what to do with it. But also in that, when you get less reactive and you learn to ground yourself, which is why I recommended watching that video, do this to ground yourself, you become more witty, you become more funny, you become more interesting. And you always know the right thing to say back to the person that's gonna make them laugh, that's gonna make them giggle. And women love guys who can make them laugh and giggle. A great way to make a girl giggle and laugh is to not be taken out by your insecurities when they come poking at you because they will come poking at you, okay? Now, if a girl calls you small, she calls you short, maybe you're 5'2", and you made peace with that part of you that knows that you're small and knows that you're short and knows that, pe know that people have jokes about your shortness, and you're like, yeah, I'm like the shortest dude ever, right? They laugh at that, but they're not laughing at you, they're laughing with you, right? If you feel like you're ugly, you're like, yeah, I'm so, I'm such an ugly duckling. Right, I'm the ugliest dude in my family, <laughs> right? And you start to own it and make peace with it, girls will laugh and giggle because it doesn't bother you. Think about those kind of girls who like to banter with guys. As soon as they walk up, boom, they're already giving you shit. They love that and they'll drop their banter the minute that they realize that you can own the stuff that they're poking at you for. And the minute you can own that stuff and ground it out and then come back at them with something very witty and funny, which we all have in us. So don't say that you're not funny because every person is funny and everybody has wit. It's just that we're very defensive and bound up that we never really get to realize that part of us. 
But you'll realize that the more grounded you get and solid and less reactive you get, the right thing will come to say to you at the right moment and then it just hits and everybody starts laughing. We have a guy in our, our business. I know some of you guys know Mike, he's a coach for us. Mike is an awesome coach, but Mike used to be very reactive. And he's come a long way from it. And I have a story about Mike when we were in Istanbul over the summer and how he's notorious for putting himself in situations where we're going to poke at him. So we were getting ready to leave and head to the airport. So our van was waiting for him, our, our van was waiting for us, right? This is our last day in Istanbul. And the van was ready to go, it was packed, everybody was getting in. Mike was nowhere to be found. Mike decided it was a good idea to go and get some snacks, some Turkish delights, about a minute before we decided to leave. And me and Josh, the other coach, <laughs> were just like, well, he's just gonna have to get left. And we really wanted him to learn that hard lesson, so we were really gonna leave him, <laughs> right? Mike came, hopping towards the van, and the minute he came to the van, I wanted to give him shit because I was just like, Mike always does this. And so I was like, Mike, yeah? I said, like, were, were those Turkish delights worth missing the, the van or whatever I said? It was something funny at the time. It's not hitting the same now, but it hit differently then. And then when I said it, Mike was just like, yeah, I guess you guys would have left without me. And it literally just took the power out of everything I said. But we're used to Mike being reactive, so we weren't used to seeing that side of Mike. And so I looked at Josh, Josh looked at me, and he was like, damn, Mike, Mike is getting more solid. And we loved it. We were like, that was fucking awesome. We like seeing Mike like that. Guys like seeing their guy friends like that. Women love seeing their men like that. So the way to get less reactive is to write down your insecurities and look at each one of them. Another good way to do that is to go out and approach women. Get rejected. Notice what insecurities come up for you when you go out to talk to women and write them down immediately after your interaction is over. Get a list of them. Look at those insecurities. Make peace with the fact that you're short. Make peace with the fact that you feel like you're ugly, right? Because these are not all, these are not truths. I guarantee you, you guys can go out there and find a guy who's four foot nine, who's dating some six foot tall chick, and he's not reactive and he's solid and confident, and he probably doesn't have money, right? Because he's confident. And that's all it really is at the end of the day. Are you confident in yourself? Are you confident in your looks? Are you confident in your shortcomings? The more confident you can be in those areas, the less people will stop poking at you and they'll start enjoying you more and wanting to be around you guys, okay? Very short video with actionable steps. Write a list down of your insecurities and come to peace with them. Even in the comment section below, put your insecurities in there. Let people know what you're insecure about. The more you can put that out there, the less you'll start taking it personal. And when you're into in an interaction where girls poking at you, you already have it covered. Okay, guys? This makes you so attractive. Anyways, guys, I love shooting these for you. I'll see you guys in next Friday's video. And remember, only the confident really live. Peace.